But I decided to uh, get up a little earlier this morning and do this re this video because uh, it's nice and quiet. The beach is really calm, not a lot of people. And I have a couple of fishermen out there. And if you look really closely at the end of those rocks, there's a head popping up and down. That's an oyster driver. He's uh, going down and they have to chip the oysters off the rocks. And you can go down there and buy fresh oysters out, off of them if you want to. It's really nice. Oh, the fishermen are leaving. Oh, well, um, anyway, it's really nice and fun to watch them. And I thought I'd give you something to do while I was chit-chatting with you here by the ocean today. So today I, I wanted to talk to you about the number one question that's asked of me by almost everybody I meet, whether it's friends or family or tourists that I meet here. And, uh, and what I found out is that, you know, people are really jealous. They're jealous of me. Oh my God, that sounds so egotistical. I just heard what I said. But you know what, it's true because, I know it's true because they tell me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to leave you hanging here too long about why they're jealous. You might assume it's because I'm so beautiful. <laughs> or, or maybe it's because I'm so rich I have diamonds on the soles of my shoes. No, no, no. That's not it. They're jealous of me because I'm living a dream. I'm living my dream. I'm living on the beach in Mexico. And the number one question I'm asked is how did you do that? You know, at first I, I thought it was a really strange question because I had just made a plan and I followed it and I and, I, and I, I just did it. I just moved here. Some of my closest friends and families did know that this was my dream. I guess they just thought I was talking and it was just a pipe dream that wouldn't ever happen. And when I did it, they were all shocked. A lot of them have been down here and visited me and they get here and they're like, oh my Lord, how did you do this? Many of you might have a dream too, and you might be asking your same, the, your, yourself the very same question, how? So I've been thinking on that question over the years and it's becoming very apparent to me that they're, the number one thing that is holding people back from their dreams is fear. Fear of change. It's just as simple as that. It's a human condition. It can be your job. You don't want to, you ha have a job that you've been in for years and you hate it, but you don't quit. Some of us don't even go out and start looking for another job. We just stay in it. Marriages and relationships. I've watched people stay in a relationships that they were unhappy with for years. And fear of maybe being alone or maybe not finding another person. Those are things that can stop you from making that change and moving. Whether it's moving across the country from um, the city that you live in in your own country or if it's moving to a completely different country that can be a very very scary thing so fear can hold us back from our dreams and you can get old and you can look back and you're like oh my gosh I've just been stagnant I have so many regrets So let's kind of deep, deep dive into this for just a second. You know, there's uh, 
three different kinds of people, well, you know, there's a million, but three basic types of people. The person who is extremely fearful. They get a dream. They never, ever follow through with any of their dreams. Their mind immediately tells them, oh, I can't do it. I'm just, forget it. And they just tuck that little dream in the back of their head and they just keep moving forward, plugging along in their life. And that little dream will pop up now and then, especially when they're really unhappy. And oh, they just tuck it back. Oh, you know, to me, that's just the saddest thing is to get old and have this life that you regret. I think it holds too many people back. So then, you know, on the complete opposite side of that spectrum are the people who have no fear or they let, they just ignore all their fear and they're extremely adventuresome. They might stick a backpack on their back and go backpack across the world. They might even find a country they fall in love with and, and stay there. Or they wake up and say, I want to go skydiving and by tomorrow they're jumping out of a plane. But the most of us are in the middle. That's where I'm at. I'm pretty cautious. Uh, I try to make sound decisions. And I do think that is the majority of us. So let me tell you how I work out my fears of change. I always ask myself, this is my very first step. What is the worst thing that can happen if you do this and can you live with those results? And if I can live with those results, then I start moving forward I make a plan and follow that plan until my dream becomes reality. I look at it from a financial aspect. Am I going to lose everything if I do this? Well, I, I can't do that. I'm not willing to lose everything. There are people who will and good for them. Go for it. But I'm more cautious that way. So I, you know, I think about, well, if I do this and it doesn't work out, and I lose X amount of dollars, how much am I willing to lose? And that's what I will use to move forward on my dream. The other thing I think that stops a lot of people is they're gonna really miss their friends and family. And you can, but can you work that out in your head? You can go visit, they can come visit you. You can stay connected in this day and age through FaceTime or Skype or Zoom. I even have a neighbor who does, uh, she has four children in Canada and she, they do Zoom parties. All four of her kids get on with her and they, they do Zoom parties. And they do a theme party and they see, seem to stay very, very connected. But if you have to be there, you know, that, and you can't do that, then maybe it isn't for you. But I could live with those things. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do this. So as I've told you in the past, uh, the purpose of this series of this channel is about showing you how I did it and maybe some other people too and tips on how you can do it too. But there is a secret to it. And there's a secret behind this entire channel about how you do this. And I'm going to review it, reveal that to you right here, right now. No matter your personality style, if this is what you want, you have to just do it. You need to wrap yourselves around your dreams. Take that leap of faith. Jump off the cliff and free fall into a whole new world. Okay, that's enough for that. I'm going to leave you with some sounds of the ocean and lay, let you kind of mull it over. My advice and what I've found people who have done it have done, they've just did it. And 
I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to leave you with some sounds of the ocean. And you think about it. ocean's really calm today. I don't know if you can hear it. And I got some people right under me having a good time. I love those sounds. People having fun. Okay. Talk to you later.